It is one of the most gorgeous views in upstate South Carolina. Lake Jocassee, flanked by beautiful mountains. But it's what's inside one of those mountains Duke Energy is celebrating today. Those fine people, you can give them a hand. In a place that seems like the middle of nowhere, old timers gather to celebrate a marvel they helped build. The powerhouse that you'll get to see is more than 500 feet below ground, carved in a, uh, or sits in a cavern. The Bad Creek Hydroelectric Station was just a hole in the mountain in the late to mid 80s. It's, it's the best project I was ever on. Kerry York was the project manager who says it was an undertaking. That's part of your life is right here. I, see, I spent six years of my life here and I, and I enjoyed most of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate everybody y'all coming out today and joining us. This will, this will probably be something you haven't seen before. <laughs> The tour began with an elevator ride, taking us 500 feet below the surface. This is what you see when you reach the bottom, a carved out space that is so large, Greenville's tallest building could fit comfortably inside. Basically what we're in right now is a construction tunnel, so this was uh, what we call the powerhouse bypass tunnel. You can see where the James Bond movie references come from, but this place is all about energy production. Water from the Bad Creek Reservoir flows through these pipes, producing 10% of Duke Energy's power capacity to the Carolinas, all nestled inside a mountain, churning for 25 years now. Tim Waller, WIFF News 4, Oconee County. That's amazing.